Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com. Welcome to the update for Monday, October 21st, 2019. I got a free pick coming up in Monday Night Football. We'll get to that in a moment. First quick note, don't forget what's going on over DocSports.com right now. You can get 33% off the rest of the football season. That includes college football and NFL combined. And uh, code word, by the way, is FBSEASON33, FBSEASON33. It's all one word. And again, use that code word over at DocSports.com. You can check it out on my homepage on the website. And when you click on that package, it'll ask you for that code word. It's all one word, FBSEASON33. Don't forget also, NBA starts on Tuesday, and I'll be in action uh, quite a bit in these first couple of months of the season and all throughout the course of the year. In fact, we cashed another winning NBA season last year, our first at Docs. Now, 14-4 our last 18 years with the NBA as far as winning seasons are concerned, and uh, we're ready to go. We can't wait till Tuesday. Our first plays will be posted on Tuesday morning over at DocSports.com. As far as everything else, well, here's what we got going on Monday. I've got NHL five-star our play in the NHL on Monday. NHL swept this weekend and we're now on a 33 and 17 winning run. October, November told you about how much we like the early portion of the season on the ice and we're doing it again. Off to another winning start and again 33 and 17 is that October, November run going back to the start of last year. Five star play going on Monday. We swept the weekend in the NHL which included our win on Sunday with the Washington Capitals. All right, uh, by the way, the NHL uh, five-star side, it's our only play on Monday for NHL action, and it will be available uh, at DocSports.com on Monday morning. No baseball till Tuesday. Again, NBA starts on Tuesday. We'll talk a little bit more about each of those on Tuesday morning. Let's talk about the weekend. I hate to, but I have to, right? Uh, just a horrible weekend for me in football. There's no two ways about it. Uh, three and three overall yesterday in football when you include the free play winner uh, with the Rams plus the uh, premium picks, but over Overall, for the start of the weekend, Saturday morning right through Sunday, uh, it just was not a good weekend for me. And, and it has happened just few and far between to have a weekend like this over the last few years, college football and NFL combined. But when it does happen, I, I don't hide from it. It, it happened. And uh, we got to just get it back on track again for next week. So listen, Sunday again, three and three overall. Saturday was the bad day in college football. And uh, again, I, I like the card. I'm going to give you a couple of moves uh, that we've seen at the Circa since the lines open on Sunday in just a moment before we get to the free pick, which is Monday Night Football, uh, but just wanted to tell you that uh, it was just not a good weekend for me. Bankroll took a hit. I know those of you who jumped on board, some of you who took a, uh, did take a hit. And as you know, by watching these videos and by all the radio I do, whether it be you know ESPN, VSIN, Mad Dog, right down the line, we certainly do uh, work hard at our craft and take a lot of pride in it. So it's not for lack of effort. It was just one of those weekends. I mean, I could go on and on, make excuses, but there's no reason to. We just tell you like it is. All right, let's talk about what we do every Monday morning with the videos, overnight, Sunday night into Monday. We talk about where the circuit is with our opening numbers in college football and the games that have moved the most. And hey, you know, maybe you might want to play back towards that opening number that the Circa books put out after these lines move. Let's give you the biggest movers for this week so far. As of Sunday night into Monday morning, USC laying 10 on the opener at Colorado. The Trojans now up to 12 and a half. Liberty is at Rutgers. Liberty opened a four-point favorite. They're now a seven-point favorite. Florida Atlantic actually got bet down. They're on the road at Old Dominion. They opened 16 and a half. Did FAU. They're down to 14 and a half on the road. Uh, TCU in Texas, interesting line movement here. The Horned Frogs opened a two and a half point home favorite over the Longhorns. And the Longhorns are now a one point favorite at Circus. So about a three and a half point move there uh, crossing favorites. The Pitt Panthers at home to Miami opened two. They got all the action on Sunday going into Monday morning. Pitt went from a two point home favorite over the Hurricanes up to five, which is where it sits over there now. And then the biggest move of the day on Sunday. Sunday afternoon, evening, and into Monday. Texas Tech on the road in Lawrence to take on uh, the rebuilding Kansas Jayhawks with Les Miles as coach. Texas Tech opened an eight-point road favorite in Lawrence, Kansas. They are all the way down to three and a half. And again, you may want to jump on these, and, and at the same time, you might want to look to play going back towards the opener on some of the bigger movements. And what I'm going to do is 
kind of look back at that and see how it's done over the course of the season over the next few days and we'll certainly let you know uh, if it's the wise thing to play back towards the opener all right again here's what's going on for monday we've got uh nhl five-star play we've got the free play in the nfl coming up in just a moment major league baseball not till tuesday and we're up over 13 units in baseball over the past oh eight or nine days nba gets underway on tuesday 14 and 4 we'll look to go to 15 and 4 with our winning season run in the nba over at doc sports Com. All right, let's get to Monday Night Football playing the under between the Patriots and the Jets, currently sitting at 43 and a half. You know about that New England defense. What are they giving up? Three touchdowns so far this season. The defense of the Patriots uh, just went into this week to the Jets uh, outside of the top of the 10, just outside of the top 10 for the New York Jets when it comes to points uh, per drive. So their defense has played well for the most part. I expect the offenses to be much like they were in the first meeting this season a few weeks ago. You'll remember the total was 43. The final score was New England 30 to 14, so it jumped over by a point, but it was a couple of non-offensive touchdowns that got it over that posted total and up to 44. I think it's going to be a lower scoring game. You look at six of the last seven meetings between these teams have stayed under the total, and that includes, um, or I should say not just that, six of the last seven meetings have stayed under the total, uh, but but also 23 of the Patriots' last 32 road games have stayed under the total, including nine straight unders when New England is on the road against teams with a losing home record. So uh, again, it's about 43 and a half. That's almost where it was last time these two teams hooked up a few weeks ago. And uh, this time, though, we don't think it's going to be non-offensive touchdowns uh, that are going to come up and make a big difference in this one. We like the game to stay under. So our video free pick, our recommendation on Monday Night Football, under 43 and a half between the Patriots and the Jets. It's going to do it for us for Monday. You know what's coming Monday night and Tuesday. That'll be my NFL recap for this past weekend. And don't forget about the NHL Five Star over at DocSports.com. I'm Scott Spritzer. If you like these videos, click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. I do appreciate those who have done so thus far. Be right back here Tuesday morning by 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific. Best of luck on Monday.